hi guys welcome to my channel uh in this video i want to show you guys how to activate your column quality in power query tool so drive with me guys this is my power bi desktop this is the first uh the first page after opening your power bi desktop so first thing i'll do is to click on my report i just clicked on my report and it has brought me in here in this uh in this uh virtual in this virtual space this virtual space is where our dashboard is being created where all the designs about our dashboard we can add charts we can add a lot of things here we can do a lot of editing here so where we need to uh where we need to activate our column quality is in our power query tool so when it loads now i'll take you guys into doing that okay um my power bi is loaded so the first thing i'll do is to click my transform data transform data by clicking this transform data it means i want to bring in a file i want to bring in a file so bringing in a file i need to click into i need to click this button this new source button to tell my power query to if the file i'm bringing in is an excel workbook file or a text csv file or it is being uh, it is being it will be generated from an sql server or whatever so my file is a text csv file i click on text csv now it would pop up my folder space where i can bring in my file where my file is being saved um it's loading um okay i have that now and this is my csv file so i click this and i click on open I click this and I click on open. Okay. Okay, now we should have valid error empty beneath this title. We should have a valid error and empty beneath this title, but we don't have that. How do we bring that in? We need to go to our view tab let me see my cursor click on this view tab here boom then you see column quantity in here column quantity you click your column quantity now can you see we now have a valid error and empty right so there we go i believe this video is uh useful for you so don't forget to subscribe to my channel and like this video. Thank you.